Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith with Smith's The Black Channel here at Ticker Tacker on a Option Exploration Friday Summertime. Uh, it's been a NASDAQ parte this week, and let's take a look here. So yeah, we got SPY, once again, let's go up in here, how are we looking at, at, at things here, right? So your weekly up in the upper middle, right? We took out last week's highs, that's two, right? Not a reversal, so if you're looking for a reversal, you didn't get it on the weekly. You'd have to take this out next week. So if we're coming into next week, you'd be trying to look out below 335.22 if you're going to get a weekly reversal because you're nowhere near the monthly. But we're getting to the end of the month, right? And so once again, if you go to the lower left, here's your broadening formation, and it's still trying to walk up here and take out the highs, right? And so if we go to the daily, I'll blow this up for you in the upper left. Once again here the outside day that's the initial broadening formation right then we took it out to the upside then gap down so these two were an outside bar of that now still trying to walk up here to see if we can make it to the all-time highs because this took out yeah we took out yesterday's highs slightly right so we're not inside day and so we're still two in our way up until that's until that ends you might get yourself uh, all the way up and then have another compound three which would be an outside bar of all this coming in next week but we'll see because Q's took care of business doing that. And Q's did it all in one shot yesterday, right? And we were looking for that, right? As soon as that started motoring back through here, we know outside bars exist, right? So off we go. We did that. Now it's an expansion. You're just going into new highs, so you got some exhaustion risk. But we saw that heavily, heavily NASDAQ or stuff. And then, of course, Tesla. <laughs> there we go. Tesla still going and uh you know just gaps up and still running here and once again this upper middle the outside bar right that means it was a range expansion on both sides and then you come and take this they're still sticking it to the guys who got stopped out here bam or anybody's trying to short this thing uh when you have this uh bright green bar and getting pounded and so here if you go to the lower middle or lower left let's get under a 30. There's certain ways to look for, to get in on stuff like this. Not everybody knows how to do that, right? And that's something you're going to want to know about, right? When something's really moving, how am I going to get in? So what you do is you can wait for corrective activity. So yesterday, it does this on the 30 here. It goes up, up, two, 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 two. Boom. Stop them all out in one shot. And here was your 60. 60 here. Stops these guys. The tight stops out. Is this what we look for? The two up, the two down the two back up we do and then when it did that then it goes inside in the 30 and then back to previous range and that was a nice little 30 minute move now if you go back to your 60 here right now inside bar right pokes down but because it's green on all time frames as soon as that 60 goes got back green right here that's going to be an outside bar of that. you got full time from continuity back to the upside, and you're going to take these guys out and go into the highs, which it just did. So, T.S. are still going. If we take a look at, uh, let me see here. So we had a lot of, of, of these NASDAQers who are running, having the 2-2 two, two weakers, and then finishing the job by going into new highs. If you take a look at Google, Google, and you can see this is what we call exhaustion risk. It goes out here. Let's say that. There we go. Goes out and takes out the highs, but then the buyer's got to restep up, right? So, but when, once you start gunning towards new highs, like in here, and you got this NASDAQ as powerful as it is, we know we're going to take that out. Some people will say that's resistance, as if there's a bunch of sell orders there. That's not true. That's the last bastion of stops, right? Anybody short against this thing is, is going to say, I'll be short against the highs right there. Bam. So you take them out, then it's a question of whether the buyers step up again. Right now, you can see these two bars of inside 60, so we'd have to see if we can take this out uh, in the next hour if they're going to keep going there. Um, if we go to NVIDIA, and NVIDIA sticks it to them, but good here. And once again, you can see here on the upper left, the outside day right they were willing to pay up and sell down then they came in boom take these guys out right away here right and blast into new highs so uh, if we go down here lower loft you'll see on the opening you see this was a two down yesterday and then as soon as it opened because it took out this low 
And then as soon as it takes this out, good to go. Boom. All right, and off she goes. So NVIDIA still good, hanging near the highs. Apple, boy, did they turn on the buying machine here, folks. <laughs> and here's how you get in on this, right? So you look for corrective activity, and there's a lot of ways to do this on shorter term time, time frames, but you know, I like to slow it down for people to get like the 30s and 60s and whatnot, or 15s. So when things matter, when things happen, matter. So the 60, you see this inside on the 60, and you can see right as soon as that new 60, that's where it's sold off. Now, as soon as this new hour just changed, look what they're doing. They turned them, turned them back on, didn't they? They did. See this? There was your inside 15er. And now here they come, Apple coming back up uh, off of that. So another thing that we want to be aware of when people are like, oh, this market can't keep going, can't keep going. I'm like, well, the question is, do you still have actionable signals that can trigger coming into next week, right? And so if you look at the upper middle, the weekly, Facebook's still inside inside week. So that could still trigger next week. You've got uh, AMD. Still an inside week that could trigger. You got SHAP inside week there. You've got Qualcomm like so. So all those guys could still trigger. You got Microsoft, which didn't quite make it to new highs yet. Saying me too, maybe it still does it, but uh, right now it still didn't quite make new highs. I don't believe well, not monthly. Did it this morning. Looks like it did. All right. <laughs> no, nope, no, nope, that's not right. It's not showing right data. No, I didn't quite make it, so we'll see. Um, other than that, we have CTXS. How you doing, buddy? Now it's trying to come back in on this flipper here. But, uh, you know, and it's late in the week, but we do like to look at the upper middle when you can take that out. That's nice. You had TDOC. And TDOC now coming in a little bit, but what we look for here is on that daily, the inside day, right there in the upper left takes it out and that reconfirms that T2 reversal here on the on the weekly right and that's back into an old outside bar that's good unless this gets, thing gets a major a reversal against us we're going to look to try and take this out all the way back up right because it's already an outside month right so if they're willing to pay down sell down and pay up they might do it again so we'll see how that goes Kodak shenaniganers let's see what this thing's doing and this thing's popping around again but we'll see um harp H-A-R-P. And HARP, this is what we look for. Nice. Outside bar on the week. All right. And so once that started gunning through here, on here, coming back to a previous range is what we like. Uh, you can see this just started smoking through here. So we'll see then. 15 a little quick for you, but we'll see. That, that would have been nice right there. But once again, anytime you come back through a previous range and you have the possibility of forming an outside bar, if, it, if everything's green, that's what it's going to do. And that's what it did here on the weekly. Still inside month, we'll see. Ulta, we talked about this one this week. Country and Western going back and forth both ways. And so in Ulta, if you go to lower middle, you can see we had the inside month to the upside. That's positive, right? But then it had exhaustion here, right, to start the week, right, which is going to take the weekly red so we talked about this here right here in the straight time report this 2-2 reversal on the daily here on, on alta below 220.44 and no reversal against no reversal against until here 210.01 and then take her back the other way and that's how you make more than they actually move alta uh, if we go to john deere on the gap list and john deere stalling out just a tad uh, as it goes uh, into new highs and if we go to the 3rd T, you're going to see this. Is this something we look for? Well, first of all, it's inside in the 30 right now. Second of all, inside bar pokes down slightly. There's your rev strat. 30 takes her up into the highs. We'll see if we can get this going. All right, just taking a look at these futures. Kind of drying up a little bit. Come on, Apple, get. I told you to get. Go back to the highs. Okay. Um, if we go to, um, let's see, Kirk. Kirk, we talked about this one earlier in the week. Here you go, upper left, up, sideways, inside day. Give me measured move. Hopefully that can keep going. Might have a little bit more of these highs to take out, but long green bars is what we like because you can keep looking for them to give you a signal. Right now it's inside in the 60 and trying to take that up. That's directional because this two is up. 
So it needs to stay above 1320, just kind of sitting there. We'll see if there's anything else. NVIDIA goes to the highs as I speak. We've got CYRX. And CYRX inside on the 60. And you can see like a lot of the things that I pointed out this week. You get that corrective activity on the weekly. Stop these guys out. Two down. Boom. Right there. There, it comes ripping right back. A little quick, but we'll see if that inside 60 can give you any more out of that. BGNE. And BGNE weekly. Once again, the inside bar pokes down. 2-2 reversal back through previous range. Still going as of right now, so we'll see if that sets up again for you. 3015 are stalling out just like a little a few of these things here. Uh, if we go to the shack. Shake shack, nice little day there too. So once again, when you look at the combination of all the time frames, let's go back to the 60. And say, so do I see a reversal? I'm like I do on the monthly. Two down, two back up, right? Right there. Right? And so we'll see if there's more to it. Right now stalling out. Maybe get yourself an inside 60. We've got a new issue NNOX coming out the gate here and so you can see welcome to the world two in its way up on the 60 Let's see if there's any good ways in on this one yeah, there you go maybe get 30 there you go inside on the 30 right there boom over 2182 trading 2325 nice percentage gains on that for an easy peasy 30 ARCT coming up here a little bit and you can see on the weekly once again the inside bar to take it down and then boom, trying to take out these highs and go back into the highs for the broadening formation. Not a whole lot on the puker side, but uh, we do have crude coming in. Boy, usual suspects over there, crude. And you can see this taking out yesterday's lows as UCO. Now going inside on the 30, but Jesus, the OIH. Ugh. Ah. Once again, the reversals to the downside on the weekly, upper middle. Two up, two down, and back down. And we've known about this NBR for a while there. And that's still puking. That's what you want. The 2-2 two -two reversal back down. How's EOG doing? And there you go. So sticking on that kind of stuff. Uh, we also had a little bit of weak weakness in uh, NVAX. Inside day down. Not totally getting killed and still an inside week. But uh, it gets our attention when you take that inside day to the downside. Especially something that can move like this. Now forming the inside 30. Uh a little bit in the bio, INCY here, and you can see INCY on the monthly here in the lower middle, taking that out. And there's a lot of things doing that, right? We've been we've been focused on some of that stuff too. It's like uh, your INCY, and then you've got ABC. And ABC still not taking out the monthly, but that weekly inside week to the downside, and actually an outside bar. Still getting pounded, now trying to recover here a little bit off the 30. We'll see what comes of that. C-A-T-O. Ow, ow, ow. And you can see that weekly, boom, 2-2 two, two back down to the downside. Okay. Fiserv, F-I-S-V. Also having some issues here to the downside. And here, taking an outside bar on the weekly. So we'll see if there's anything more to come of it because we can... Now it's potentially slightly higher an outside month, but we'll see what comes of that. You got Costco going to the highs as I speak here, more retail. And Costco, you can see this daily here. The inside bar pokes down RevStrat to the upside. It also reconfirms the inside week to the upside in the middle. Baba, also RevStrat day. Inside bar pokes down, boom, back up through previous range. 2-2 reversal on the week. Uh, trying to go all-time highs, but a lot, a lot of these things stalling out here just a little bit. That's why you stay on those movers, and that's when I show you this stuff. Uh, what I'm showing you is things that have nice long red and green bars on the day, and that shows us algorithmic buying or selling activity. And if they keep them on all day like they did yesterday, that's when you can uh, that's when you can really go. So, all right, so. I guess that's going to do it for the week. I hope everybody had a great week and has an even better weekend. Once again, all my videos here at Ticker Talker are free if you stop by the Smiths in the Black channel here at Ticker Talker. All right, that's going to do it. Everybody have a great weekend.